I've been wanting to film outside for super long now, but the weather's just been horrible. And this week, I'm just like, you know what? Forget it. I don't care if the weather's bad. I'm going to be outside filming with an umbrella, and um, it's gonna be great. <laughs> um, you will also most likely see some animals in the background. Um, just be ready. <sighs> This week I remembered something from my childhood and I thought that was kind of funny and I just wanted to talk about it really quick and see if any of you can relate. Um, if you're not really interested in hearing me talk, that's fine. I also have covers. Here is our cover of the week over in the corner. I keep forgetting to do cover of the week, but this week we're doing it. Click there if you're interested. You can listen to some of my music. I'd really appreciate it if you don't want to hear listen to me babbling about my childhood. <laughs> I found this piece of paper that I wrote when I was probably like, I don't know, definitely no older than nine. I was little. On it, it said, requirements to be my friend or something like that. And it said, what's your name and what's your favorite color? All I needed to know in order to be a friend with someone is I needed to know your name and your favorite color. I thought that was funny. It was just such an cats rubbing against the tripod right now. Great. You can be my best friend. I just have to know these two things. <laughs> I remember also being little and I would ask, whenever I'd ask another kid about my age, what their favorite color is, they'd always have it right off the top of their head. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's a nice shade of yellow. Oh, it's a purple and a pink together. <laughs> um. And then I would ask adults what their favorite color was and most of the time they would say oh, I don't have a favorite color and I remember thinking maybe when you get older you just become unappreciative of all the different colors and <laughs> and maybe you just kind of take it as it is and you don't really look at all the colors even now I kind of I think that finding out someone's favorite colors is important to me because whenever there's like a lull in the conversation or just a long pause where I don't really know what to say, I naturally want to ask someone, so what's your favorite color? <laughs> and I was wondering why I asked that until I found that piece of paper and I'm like, oh, I guess favorite colors have always been relevant. <laughs> Apparently I have a big appreciation for colors. Maybe I should try painting some more, even though I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Sorry, this video is kind of weird. I just wanted to share that, and maybe you guys have some insight on that. If you guys prioritize favorite colors as much as I did or do, I guess. I hope to see you next week, because I will be posting. It's just a matter if you will be there or not. <laughs> Leave in the comments what your name and your favorite color is so that we can be best friends. Because if not, I just don't think, I don't think it's gonna work. Sorry. And if you're an adult and you don't have a favorite color, what is wrong with you? I mean, there are so many. <laughs> what is this video? Okay, I'm gonna go.